the news tonight. A school shooter, this a school shooting this week near Houston, and now campuses all across the country and here in East Texas are taking note and making changes. CBS 19's Jennifer Heathcock joins us live from Tyler Junior College. And Jennifer, what are smaller colleges facing when handling security? Well, Anthony and Jillian, it comes down to who and what can make it onto campus. And that's why places like Tyler Junior College here behind me are checking their security systems and making sure that everything's in place to make sure that your kids are safe when they go to class. Jacksonville College freshman Josh Monks wears an ID badge everywhere he goes on campus. Well, in high school where I came from, it was a small town, so we didn't really have them. But here, like the first thing, the first day, they told me just wear them so just we know who you are. He says that coupled with armed security presence makes him feel safe, especially following the latest shooting at Lone Star College in Houston. I see security guards all the time, and uh, most of them are friendly, so you get to talk with them and stuff so they feel safe. Chief of Security at Jacksonville College is Michael Morse, a seasoned officer with tactical training who can carry a gun. We've upgraded the security department since I've been here, and all of our officers are going to be armed. Uh, we've installed or instituted a student emergency alert system. We call it the JAG alert. Many college campuses don't have fences around them. That's why they depend on security officers, name badges, and cameras on campus to make sure students are safe. And that's especially why Jacksonville College is looking to upgrade and install more cameras on campus. During registration, there were a few parents on campus that I talked to. Uh, most of them were happy to see that we had security on campus and that it was armed security. Since I'm not from around here, this is a big town to me. And so uh, it just feels safe knowing that uh, there's people here that are armed and they know what to do when something happens. So. Well, many campuses also have alert systems in place to make sure that they can contact all of the classrooms if they need to in case of an emergency. Justin, Anthony and Jillian. Now, Jennifer, you mentioned the security officer at Jacksonville College. Is he the only one? Well, that's right. He is. As of right now, the Jacksonville College actually contracts through another company to provide other security officers, but they are looking to make a shift to bring all of them in-house. Live in Tyler, Smith County, Jennifer Heathcock, KYTX, CBS 19 News. All right. Thank you, Jennifer. Now, state lawmakers are now considering the Texas School District Security Act that would allow schools to hire police officers. However, however, it would not extend to college campuses. Many senators say college police departments already do a good job of keeping students safe. 